Mr. Donald. I'm from Iran. The adults sent me to talk to you. They thought we'd get along. I want to give you a short introduction to my country, Iran, and invite you to visit. It's the best country ever. It's so great. It's true. We have unbelievably beautiful nature. Unbelievable. Great, great architecture and beautiful art. Totally magnificent. We speak Persian. It's way older and cooler than all other languages. It's true. In fact, it's the best Indo-European language, period. Our cuisine is second to none. You don't believe me? Ask Anthony Bourdain. You would love our tahjeen and saffron tari. You would love them. They're totally orange, just like you. You have the constitution, we have the Cyrus Salon. They're so great. You have the Lady Liberty, we have the Liberty Tower. It's magnificent. We also have the Milad Tower. It's huge. It's so tall, you won't believe it. We also love the golden showers. Oops, I mean, the golden towers. Totally worth spending money on them. Bigly. We have a very rich literature and awesome poets like Hafez, Rumi, Khayyam, and Sandi. You would love their poems. In fact, Sandi's poem is inscribed in the UN. It's about love and compassion towards human beings. I'm sorry, don't read that one. Scratch that. He didn't know what he was talking about. We also have beautiful miniature art. Paintings of men with very tiny hands. You would love it. We have the biggest lake in the world. It's so huge, we call it a sea. The big, big Caspian Sea. It's beautiful, full of caviar. So expensive and flashy. There's also Persian Gulf, the best gulf in the world, full of oil and natural gas. It's amazing. We know you like burning things, us too. We have Charsham Suri. Every year, we make huge bonfires and jump over them while singing we love the orange fire glow on our skin. You should try it. It'll make you even more orange. It'll be great. We have more in common than you think. Believe me. We elected a great president. His name was Ahmadinejad. He was the real deal. He saved us from a dope liberal president Khatami who believed in a globalized world, wanting to have an open dialogue between civilizations. Total loser. Really sad. Ahmadinejad won the popular vote in a total landslide. You know why? Because we don't have any illegal or dead voters. We have totally strong borders. It's true. There were many anarchists, professional paid protesters, totally paid, you know, after the totally democratic, not rigged election. Crooked media made a huge deal out of it, said there were millions protesting. Fake news. Just like you, Ahmadinejad hated political correctness and was totally into alternative facts. He talked tough, a real winner. Thanks to him, we don't have any gays in Iran. We also think women should just stay out of it. They don't belong in science, space, or politics. Anusha Ansari, the first woman space tourist. Maryam Yuzakhani, the first woman fields medalist. Shirin Abadi, the first Iranian to win the Nobel Peace Prize. Thanks to your travel ban, you wouldn't let any of these women in. Nasty women. We also love sports. We love them. We love football. Real football, you know. Volleyball, wrestling, martial arts, you name it. Just like your women football team won the World Cup beating Japan, our women football team won the Asian Championship after beating Japan. Totally cool. Media is totally dishonest. They never show the real news. Did you know Iran is second to Hollywood in plastic surgery? It's true. Just like you, we are superficial. We love pretty things, can't help it. I want to get a nose job when I grow up. Did you know Iranians love to party? Persian ladies are the best. Beautiful, beautiful ladies, total tens. Best dancers ever, period. We are a resilient nation, went through a war. Saddam the menace poured all sorts of chemical bombs on us. The whole world stood by and watched. It was a horrible thing and nobody helped us. Nobody even talked about it. You know how we dealt with it? We danced in bomb shelters and drank Shiraz wine and Persian tea. When the war was over, we rebuilt. We used our tremendous talents to do great things, like making Persian carpets 
and many people, many important people tell us are the best. We also make great movies for people to watch, okay? Our beautiful, beautiful Iran is the best, the most stable. Also, we are not hostile. We are tender, just like Persian cats. Actually, Iran's map looks like a pussy. Just don't grab it, okay? From this day forward, it's going to be only America first. America first. We get it. We understand that the entire Europe is racing for the second. But you know Iran is going to be the second, right? Thanks for listening to me, President Trump. And I must now go back to doing more important things like watching Finding Dory. Bye!